Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is our year to shine and I have so much to say to you today. I hope you're having a nice weekend. This is planning a February that shines and if you were following the channel last year when we did a sort of an intro video to each upcoming month, that's what I'm doing here with these month to shine videos. So this is our February video that shines or a February video to get us going into a February that shines, I should say. And lots of exciting stuff coming up on the channel. Thanks for being here. I know I told you last month that I'm going to choose a particular thing that shines each month to sort of be my theme for the month. And for February, I chose a star. I was so inspired by that poem that I talked about in a recent video about how the universe is a love story and you are the star. And remember I had in my um, affirmation deck, I am the star of my life. So I was thinking of that too. So that's my sort of symbol for the month. Last month it was a candle, which was tied in well to the, the theme that we were doing with the 12, the first 12 days of the month and lighting a candle and so it seemed appropriate and I love the the phrase the universe is a love story because what do we think of when we think of February of course we think of love and romance and Valentine's Day and this month is going to be like that last year it was our month of love same sort of idea this year and I do have some things on my list that are from the Simple Abundance book by Sarah Bron Bronick that we read last year. But also this year is going to be more of a focus on self-care and self-love. Here is da, 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 the new book that I'm going to be talking about. It's called Madly in Love with Me. This is one of the books that I mentioned when I was uh, summarizing my ideas for the channel at the end of last year. This book is by Christine and the last name is A-R-Y-L-O. Ar Arlo, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> and not to be confused with another book by the same name. So if you are gonna look for it, look for this cover. It came out in 2012. Now, I owned this book on my Kindle back in 2016 I still have it on there but I did go through it briefly it was recommended to me by a life coach and I just didn't really like dive into it as a uh, serious topic and and really follow through with the activities that were in it so I thought it would be a great book to bring to the channel I've already looked through it now I own the actual book which is definitely my preference because I want to be able to sit in bed and, and read um, chapters. Oh, and incidentally, shout out to one of my viewers and a friend of mine who made me for my recent birthday, a bookmark that says shine and it's already in the new book. <laughs> um, and it has stars on it too. <laughs> um, so I think there's going to be a lot to say from this book and, and I'm going to be struggling along with you guys in it if you struggle with really saying I love you and wait till you hear what our extreme self-care challenges from Cheryl Richardson for this month too. I'll be bringing that to you in an upcoming video. So it's all going to be tied in. Actually, I should have read the whole thing. Madly in love with me, the daring adventure of becoming your own best friend. Yeah. So it's going to be about that. And I will be doing it with you. <laughs> so here are some things on my February month that will shine. I'm going to do like I did last year all month long. I'm going to really look for love everywhere. So like I'm going to choose to watch some romantic movies, listen to love songs. Annabelle is loving her fishy toy in the background if you hear that. <laughs> um, listening to romantic audiobooks. Making lists of of loving aspects and positive things that I'm seeing around related to love just even in my life if I see something happening or like a video that's suggested to me or something and also keeping track of any acts of love as well and I did tell you that I am giving away money 
to causes. And so I've broken it down into 12 months, just like my 12 month program. So I'm gonna be deciding, cause I don't have a specific friend that has something going on in February to support, but I, I do have a thought on that. So I have that on my list as well. Like what, what love offering or gift am I gonna give through money this month? If you followed along last year, you also may remember that February 2nd, not only is it Groundhog Day, but it's also Candlemas. So I know last year, I think it was the Super Bowl night, and so I had to do it on a different night. But it's just essentially having a night with just candles and really like a quiet time in the dark and with just candles. So maybe do that. And you know, as I was looking more into the traditions of Candlemas, actually, the Groundhog Day tradition came out of that. I guess it was like a very um, prevalent German holiday that was celebrated, and so they started incorporating the Groundhog into it. So you could always celebrate Groundhog Day. You know I'm doing some of my little fun extra holidays. And speaking of that, January was a lot of fun. I did Dragon Appreciation Day. <laughs> I did Puzzle Appreciation Day, which I'm in the middle of and I have to say the word appreciation is turned into frustration because I'm doing the hardest puzzle ever. Um, but it's fun. It's one from Frozen that was in my Christmas stocking. So I, I did give a nod to Puzzle Appreciation Day. I'm working on it. And I will appreciate when I've done a little bit more on it because it's taking me forever. Uh, I did Bubble Bath Appreciation Day, and I'm forgetting the other one. Oh my goodness. There was another one, because I'm choosing one per, one per week. And I did, of course you know that I had my Hawaiian Day, and I'm excited to open my February envelope. I'll do that in another video when I'm not talking so much about today. I have to look and see what was the fourth one. I can't believe I forgot. Oh my goodness, House Plant Appreciation Day. Yes, I definitely did that. Spruced up my plants and even gave some away to friends. All right, how easily I forget. All right, and so this month, there are so many different ones. Um, I haven't totally landed. I mentioned there's a lot of them about food and it seems like those are all the ones that I'm interested in. I'll list off a few for you if you're looking for some fun to have this month. There's Banana Bread Day. There's Pizza Day. There's Chinese New Year. And I did celebrate that with my family one year. There's a lot you could do with that. There is Fairy Tale Day. I liked that. I thought, hmm, I could do something fun with that. Fat Tuesday, because yeah, Mardi Gras, right? And I know when I was growing up for Fat Tuesday, we always had breakfast for dinner, so that was kind of fun. There's Carnival Day. You could do something fun with that, I think. Chili Day, I think I'm definitely gonna do. It's fun to make a pot of chili. Now, the Oscars are coming up. I don't know why it says Oscar night is in February. I thought that Os the Oscars were in April? I don't know, but that's one of them. Oh, and Opera Day, I love opera and ballet and all that, so I'll probably do Opera Day. And Chocolate Fondue Day, I mean, how can you not honor Chocolate Fondue Day? I may just have to have a day with like pizza, banana bread, chocolate fondue, Fat Tuesday. I mean, maybe it's just gonna be a fat day in general. <laughs> And there's Random Acts of Kindness Day, too, so that fits in well with the, the um, giving love away. Okay. And also, Sarah, in our book last year, did recommend that we buy a long stem rose for our desk. I usually buy myself roses in the month of February, and I already have gathered a couple of things for Valentine's Day to give to myself. and. I always do this. I've told you guys about this as well before on the channel. I always write a love letter from my authentic self to myself for Valentine's Day. You can even mail it. That was one thing in our um, Simple Abundance book last year too. Um, or you can just have it with you. And we're going to be, I'm not going to tell you yet what the self-care challenge is from Cheryl, but I have that on my list here. I also have heart jewelry, so I'm gonna wear some shiny heart jewelry. And we're gonna be reading Madly in Love With Me. And I'm, I'm working on some certain healing related to love in my therapy, so I have that on my list as well. Also, I haven't told you guys about this, but it's now on my list as well. So I got something out of watching my own channel. Yes, I get a lot of things out of watching my own channel, but 
I was I was watching the video in I think it was November where I was talking about Sarah's entry about showing your friends and family that you care all year and one of the things about your family was especially with older relatives trying to get them to talk about things maybe recording or videotaping them um, you know about their memories and things and so I've been missing my dad a lot you know he's not a virtual guy so we can't FaceTime or anything he's just so averse to those, like zoom and all that so it's been really hard this whole time with the COVID um, situation and so I was really trying to figure out like we don't we talk every week but we just sort of have like surface level conversations when they're on the when we're on the phone and we don't always have total privacy anyway when I'm speaking to him so it's not like deep conversations like when we would get together we would walk in the woods or go kayaking in the summer and we just would get into these really cool life conversations where I like he, I like to ask him questions and he loves to answer them so he's also a writer so this came to my mind when I was watching this video and I proposed it to him and he's totally on board and so long story short I asked him if I could ask him a question and actually it's like a series of questions around a certain topic for each month of the year and then he would write me back his answers and so January was the first one and he wrote me single space typed this five and a half page story or like you know his memories because I asked him about his childhood growing up in the summers and specific questions about the summers and he had so much to say and I loved it so I have on my list also to do my special dad topic question so maybe think about that if you're thinking of a way to connect with someone especially because like I think it hits home with him because he's also a writer so reading his his uh, five and a half page uh, I don't know what to call it story I guess or novel biography on that topic is just like you're so immersed in it he's such a good writer that it's it and I think he loved it too and it gives him something to do he's keeping busy but I think he enjoys having the project and and it was a fun way for us to connect and actually that that uh, topic that he wrote about sparked another topic that now I'm gonna ask him for my February topic it doesn't have to do with love I guess I could have thought of something to do with love and he was very forthcoming you know I mean he was telling me about his uh, you know his summers growing up and he said something about like going parking and making out with the girls and stuff so he's really not holding anything back so that's really fun and that should add to my shiny month of February so I hope you're giving some thought to February and some ways that you can make it shine or whatever your word is for the year I hope you are thinking about how that can be incorporated into your your life I have to say January went by so quickly I should carry over a couple of things that were from my January list that I haven't done yet either so yeah I may be adding some of those things and of course I'm going to keep track of my unforgettable day and I will be coming back to you with the February fun envelope project to read I'm excited so I will see you soon for another video and enjoy the rest of your day. Sending you lots of love as we move from January into February on this freezing shiny day where I am. <laughs> love to you all. Bye-bye.